Samsung brought some of the most game-changing AI features with the Fold 6 and a Flip 6 that's just launched. Daniel here from Sam Mobile TV. Here is every single one of them. Samsung have just taken the wraps off the Fold and Flip 6, as well as the Watch Ultra, Watch 7, and the new Galaxy Buds, as well as the new Galaxy Ring. Lots of stuff. This video, we're going to look at all the new AI features that they just dropped. And they have a new home. Galaxy AI have a new home inside Samsung's menu. It is no longer sitting inside advanced features under advanced intelligence. Samsung have placed it in its own menu prior to place in the settings called Galaxy AI. Kind of feels like Samsung soft launch Galaxy AI with the S24 series, and they've now going to go all out of salt with it, especially now that it has its new home. Let's go through them. All the new ones that Samsung have just launched. You'll see some of them inside this menu, drawing assist, and but some of them actually sit inside existing features and they've added. So let's go through them. Starting with sketch to image. Sketch to image sits inside three different places. You have the gallery, you have Samsung notes, and then it's on its own by itself. It has its own little app that you can utilize it with. Starting with the gallery. The gallery, Samsung have put it inside generative edit. So in that generative edit, which means you can remove and sort of make things bigger inside a photo, they've also added the ability to draw on the photo using the S Pen. What I found really enjoyable was just drawing on the screen and watching it come to life. Samsung generate four different options for you as well. So let's say you've drawn like a crown on top of your head, you can scroll through and see which crown you like best. What's also really cool is the fact that it's lifelike. It's not actually like a cartoon or a made up one. It looks real. It's amazing what Samsung have done and it looks really clean on top of your head. You can regenerate if you want or you save that option. The next way it is used is inside Samsung Notes. The way it works inside Samsung Notes is a little bit different to the next way I'm going to show you. Samsung Notes, you need to have already drawn the picture and then when you hit the AI button in the toolbar, you hit sketch to image, it will then recognize the image that you've drawn. If you haven't drawn anything, it'll ask you to go back and draw something first. The way this will work is you have options to choose from in terms of style. So there's watercolor, there's 3D cartoon, there's a couple of different ones in there that you could choose from. And then when you hit generate, again, it works in the background with AI to generate that image and then pops it into the notes file right where you had previously drawn it. And it does a really good job of turning awful, awful drawings into actually nice content. Props to Samsung. Then the last way that we got shown how to do this was just its own app. So we found it in the edge panel, but I'm sure it, there's other ways to access it. But when you click on it, it basically brings it up and overlays it over the top of the screen you're on. What you do here is you literally just draw on the screen and then hit generate. There's a guide that pops up as you've just seen. Once you've decided on what you want to draw, you just, you just literally draw it. So it depends on what you draw, will depend on what comes out. And the great thing is it doesn't necessarily matter on the quality of the drawing. It will still try to take that and turn it into something good. Same thing with Samsung Notes. You can choose the style of how you want it. Watercolor, sketch, they're all in there. And then you hit generate. And again, it gives you multiple options for you to save and insert. You can choose to do it again. It's really clever and puts out some really good results. Something that's kind of closely related to this, but but not really, is Portrait Studio. Portrait Studio is Samsung's new thing, again, inside Generative Edit, which allows you to take a portrait of yourself, and it only works with one person, we, we got told. And basically, you can turn this into different styles of cartoon. It was rumors that I saw that you could do like a portrait photo, like a professional portrait. It's not in here. What is in here is very similar to what you could do with the drawings, where you could turn yourself into like a 3D character, you could turn yourself into a comic book character. And then again, you hit generate and it will generate multiple versions of that image for you to then save. Some of them look really, really accurate. Some not so much. Whoa. Yes, sure. If I didn't like any of those, I just hit generate again because I, I did not like them. I guess it just depends on the angle that you take the photo and how much light source there is to kind of bring the image to life. But I really liked it. it. It's there on the fold and it's also on the flip. Although I do think it makes more sense on the flip. You'll have a lot more fun with the cover screen and selfies in that way. The next bit of AI we found was inside Samsung Notes. There's a really small, like I'm talking minute one that I dug up, 
which was all about handwriting. You press on the handwriting guide icon and it will draw like a bit of a line. And when you write on that line for the first time, and let's say you deviate, you watch the AI bring everything level and make the shapes and the characters all cohesive. It was quite impressive to see it work because it just worked instantly. There was no thought process. The phone just did it. But that's a small one. The bigger one that they've added is taking a feature that, from voice recorder and bringing it into Samsung Notes, which to be honest, should have been here from the start because they have very similar function. Inside Samsung Notes, you can create a voice note that's associated with the notes file that you've created. Whereas you're taking notes, the voice note records the audio and then marries them up. With this voice note, you can now transcribe it and very similar to how you can use it in voice recorder. If you tap on a word, it'll jump to that part of the recording and you can also summarize it. So if you've got a big long meeting that you've recorded, you've got notes that you've taken, you can also bring the transcript and the summary and sort of create like a more cohesive picture of what it is you wanted. That's in there. Samsung made an update or a special version of the interpreter app for the fold and the flip. This would have come in a lot of handy in Europe. What Samsung have done is there's a little button inside the interpreter app that now allows you to turn on the cover screen at the same time as the internal display being on. So it will show the other person you're talking to the translated text and also talk to them at the same time and show you your side. So you can kind of have a conversation without needing to go here, 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 here. Both screens are activated. Fold and flip capable. I wish I had this when I was in Europe. Honestly, this would have been so convenient to have to sort of maybe even just put it on a table when you're at a restaurant and sort of talk to the person. I love this idea. Galaxy Z Flip 6 has sort of incorporated AI into the cover screen where if you are messaging someone and you want to just reply from the cover screen, you can hit suggested replies. This will take the last seven messages into account and form a contextualized response for you. In fact, I think it gives you three responses that you can choose from. Simply choose the one that fits best and then you can send it back. Very convenient. And I believe this is also going to be on the watches as part of Galaxy AI, the suggested replies function. The last Galaxy AI feature that we got to see was the new energy score on the Galaxy Watch. Basically, the energy score will combine all of your health metrics. Every bit of metric that it's tracked, whether that be heart rate, sleep data, whether it be your fitness exercises, it will formulate them together to give you an energy score. And then based off that energy score, it's going to give you recommendations. We only saw a brief demo of this and obviously not having the watch yet, I can't show you, but the way it worked looked quite good. The recommendations looked nice and it worked quite cohesively as part of the health assist that we saw in Samsung's new Galaxy AI menu. So that's all the new Galaxy AI functions that we got to see. You can guarantee that we will bring them to you in a more live function once we get our devices in hand. Meanwhile, if you're wanting to get one of these for yourselves, use the link in the description and pre-order through us and uh, enjoy your new Galaxy Fold Flip watch or buds or ring. Oh, there's a lot that's come out. Make sure you subscribe. Lots of content still to come and we'll see you next time. Thanks.